Hey gang, and welcome to another Animal Crossing video. I'm Crossing Channel, and a new TV spot trailer for Animal Crossing New Horizons was just recently released in Japan. This trailer was honestly super cute, I really liked it. It was basically showing a family enjoying rainy days in Animal Crossing New Horizons and in the real world as well, which I liked the concept of. But of course, Animal Crossing fans spotted something very interesting within the trailer that you can't actually do yourself within the game. I got a lot of requests to talk about this and and discuss what it could mean and if a limitation that we know of in Animal Crossing New Horizons could actually be removed sometime soon in the future. So I wanted to check this out, so let's get straight into this. So this is the little screenshots which are worth talking about within this video. You might not notice right away what is wrong with them, so I'm going to point out exactly what it is. Now there's actually two things wrong with this and two limitations which are bypassed in this trailer that we can't do in our own games. The first that you can see is that the trees are actually too close to the water's edge. You cannot plant or move trees this close to the water's edge in your games. It's something you cannot do at all. You might be able to do it with some kind of glitch, which I'm going to talk about later on, but I'm pretty sure putting it right next to the water like this isn't something that you can do at all. Then the next one, which we can actually see in both of these screenshots, is that these trees and the bamboo trees are planted way too close to each other. They're directly next to each other, which again is something you can't do in the game. Now, I believe the reason why you can't plant trees right next to the water is because if you shook them, what's on top of them would fall directly into the water. But personally, I don't think that's enough of a reason not to allow us to do that because to be honest with you, who even needs to plant and get fruit when you get to a certain point in the game and you can get balloon presents drop into the water so why not some of these items it would look really cool if you could do this and when it comes to planting trees and bamboo together I think maybe they wouldn't want to do that because then players may not be able to get into certain areas but I don't think that would be too much of a problem maybe they could do it so you can only plant two in a row instead of three in a row directly next to each other I don't know but this is something that players notice within this trailer and it's made a lot of people wonder if maybe in a future update, Nintendo will actually remove some of these little limitations that we've had in the game since the start. Now, there's a few different explanations as to why this could be, but I do think one that is pretty likely is that this is just Nintendo's test island, and they're showing off some things to kind of make the trailer look a bit better, but things that we can't do within the game. However, there is also good evidence to suggest that they might not want to do that, and I'm going to talk more about that soon. I also wanted to mention that there are plenty of spots within this trailer where you can see the trees are planted completely normally. They're not next to each other, they're not in weird spots, they're completely legitimately where they should be which I find really interesting because I guess if you make the argument that they've just put these trees really close to each other to make certain shots within the trailer kind of stand out a bit more I don't know why they wouldn't do that in all of the different scenes because some of the scenes that you see in the trailer are definitely really really good shots but they haven't tried to change any of the things that you can actually do within the game now, I'm sure many of you will remember this mystery house, which was shown off in a little screenshot by Nintendo when the last update dropped, and it literally got everyone talking. People were wondering, okay, how do we get this house in the game? No villager has a house design like this. And so many people speculated that maybe something would change, maybe we'd be able to decorate our villagers' houses, maybe a new animal would even be added to the game, until Nintendo finally came through and they said, nope, this is something that you can't do in the game oops, we didn't mean to do that, and they actually changed the screenshot on their website and on their social media platforms as well, which I don't think I've actually ever seen them do, at least not with this game. So it's very clear that Nintendo doesn't want people to get confused about what you can and can't do in the game, because let's be honest, they know Animal Crossing fans are ravenous for updates, are ravenous for news and things to talk about, so if there's something they see that they can't do, they're going to speculate and talk online about how this could be something we see in the future. So it's really interesting to me that Nintendo would point out things like this just being a part of their test island and things that you can't do and then remove it but actually show off things that you aren't allowed to do at any point in their trailers. I do actually think it's fairly realistic to assume that sometime in the future they could remove some of these limitations. We have seen certain limitations in Animal Crossing New Horizons changed. For example, you can now plant palm trees on the land by putting a little bit of sand underneath them. 
you can also get more inventory space stuff like that so there's lots of different limitations which can be expanded upon and changed and i don't think it'd be too far-fetched for us to assume that at some point nintendo could allow us to put trees right next to the water or put them together or whatever we may want to do that we currently can't do with them now there is actually a glitch in the game where you can put trees right on the edge of cliffs like you can see here. This is a screenshot from Animal Crossing World which is a really great website about the game. I definitely recommend it. And I just thought I'd show this off because technically speaking you can do this. But the way Nintendo did it within the trailer it didn't look like they were using a glitch. Now something that is very interesting is that Nintendo has actually used some glitches within their trailers before. For example at one point when you could use the glitch that would allow you to plant trees on the pathways around your island, like the stone pathways, they actually did use that within one of their trailers and fans quickly noticed that, which I feel like led Nintendo to actually patch that glitch. Some of these patches, like getting up to the fourth level, putting trees right on the edges of cliffs, haven't been patched despite being in the game for a really long time. So it's interesting to me that Nintendo kind of picks and chooses what they want to show off sometimes. And I don't know, it's just a bit suspicious to me and strange that they would decide to show off something that we can't do within the game when they know people are going to notice it and talk about it. I especially saw that within comment sections of the Japanese community for Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is of course where this trailer released. Lots of people were noticing and sort of discussing what this could mean and how it happened. So I thought I'd finally make a video about it because it's just something fun to discuss, even if it does turn out to be nothing. Of course, I don't have my hopes super high and it's not the end of the world if they don't remove these limitations, but like I mentioned, I thought it'd be a fun discussion and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think? Do you think that Nintendo could remove some of these limitations within Animal Crossing New Horizons sometime in the future, or do you think they're stuck how they are? I'd really love to see some of the limitations removed because even though we've come so far when it comes to decorating in Animal Crossing New Horizons, there's honestly still so much that we can't do and I find that really frustrating. You know, it's kind of like in some ways we've taken lots of steps forward, but then we've taken other steps backwards. I also want to quickly mention that before this video ends, I am on Twitch.tv where I stream Animal Crossing New Horizons quite a few times per week. So if you didn't know that, be sure to check me out on Twitch. The link is in the description down below and I would really appreciate it if you give me a follow there for, of course, even more Animal Crossing content. We have a really nice community. We do lots of really fun streams and I'd love to see more of you come and join. It's really a great place to be and I hope you'll like some of the content that I post there. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know you made it to the end. You can also subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. If you want to support my channel, become a member of the Bob's Gang by clicking the join button down below the video.